Here we go again! It's me fixing my dang car. Um, well, kind of doing edits. Not really fixes, because they aren't really broken, but these headlights look like garbage, and they kind of view like garbage, too. Um, I have LEDs in here, so it's not as much of a big deal, but uh, it'd be really nice to not have that and have them as bright as possible. So, I get to take the entire front bumper off, because that's how you take these things off. Because they can't come up and out because they, they're basically held in by this guy and this guy they can't come up and out because of this right here and they can't come forward and out because this knocks against this so the whole front bumper has to come off i'll be grabbing the haynes manual in a second to make sure i get everything um and do it properly but yeah i've also probably got to take i'm going to take the battery out uh, i got it disconnected right now i'm going to take it out because I have to get to the headlight stuff and get that all disconnected on both sides so I can take the darn thing out. Here we go again! So, one is out. Um, I was incorrect, you did not have to take the entire bumper off because as you can see, the bumper is a bit pliable. So, essentially what I did is I took this guy out right here. This can, I mean, there's a front grill right here. I don't know why I still had it on there, but... That's that front grill right there. That can come right out. Um, and if you take these little retention bolts out here, this whole thing kind of moves. And then the headlight assembly is plugged in with a bolt that was here and was up here. And there's another clip right in here that you can only like get to if you bend this back and get it from this angle because it's screwed in this way. So that's a bit of a pain, but it's out now. And now I figure out how to put the that one in there! Alright, he's got the first one in. He's so shiny. But it's basically the uh, opposite of what we first did. And there's that. Where is he? That little, that little gray thing way down there. I can try and put it out. I can't put it out. Um, that little guy uh, all the way down there is technically a screw, is what holds the bottom part of this on. So. To get to it, this fender is kind of pliable, so I just undid this bolt right here, and then this pops out. And after you undo this bolt here, the whole front bumper just gets kind of little weaky weaky. So it does that and gives you enough access to be able to get to that guy right there, who I think is stripped a little bit on this one because he's a and he's tight, but he's a little loose. He kind of keeps going. So I got these two undone up here. I've got a um under the bumper on this side so i can get to this bolt down under here get that done um and probably before i do that i'm going to go through unplug all of these lights and get them all unconnected so i can just pull it out Yee oh by the way i took the wheels off um on both sides i have it jacked up on both sides um it's just a lot easier to get to those bolts with those wheels off so Yay! Progress. I wanted to talk about this bolt that I was talking about. There's my turn signal. This is the bolt that I'm talking about. Um, that plastic is <laughs> not supposed to be there, but uh, apparently the bolt was, um, well, let's just say it was stronger than the plastic. So I'm going to be wd 40 the tar of that. Um, what is this? Oh, those are fog lights. Those are connectors for my fog lights that I don't have. But I can put fog lights in if I want to. That's interesting. But yeah, this is the bolt that I'm talking about that holds the bottom housing in if the bottom housing actually, you know, likes to be held in. So they are in, they are installed. They are nice, so pretty. Uh, cables got to be managed yet. Uh, get tucked in and where they need to be because these little guys don't need to be shaking around. They have to be tied down somewhere and got to get the battery tied back down. It's out of the hotel, but they look a lot nicer. They look a lot nicer. So shiny. So, here's the run through of a little bit of what I did. So, this has got to get pushed down yet. Um, once you take the tires off and get this thing jacked up, right under here is a bolt. Right there, you can see it. That bolt comes out. When that bolt comes out, you can move this fender around. And you're going to need to do that because all the way on the bottom side of this guy. I can show you on the old ones, actually. 
that right there, which broke off on this one, but that right there, there's a clip on. Let's see, let's see, let's see the other one. That's what it actually looks like. That's what that looks like. There's a bolt in there that you can't get to unless you bend that fender out. So you have to get this first bolt off that I showed you and then be able to bend the fender out to be able to get that second bolt off. Once you get that second bolt off, this guy and this guy come off real easy and this whole fender bends because it's just, it's a thin plastic. So that whole fender bends out and you can get this thing out. Um, there's three lights back here, your high beams, your low beams, um, high beam, low beam, and then your turn signal light as well. Um, I just disconnected the cables for the high beam and low beam. I have an LED transition kit in here, which is why mine are super bright um, and why even more people are going to be flashing me now because now I don't have all of the gunk all over them either, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so I just disconnected these cables like right at here. You have to pay attention because with the LED, LED transition kit, if you like plug them in the opposite way, they just won't work. So it just kind of is a pain sometimes. So... I got that all in, got those disconnected, and then the turn signal light, you just, it's a little screw in, screw off, and just, you just turn it and it pops out. Um, be careful with that, because if you crunch it in there, you got big, big old problems. But uh, once you get all of those out and get those bolts out, the whole assembly just comes right out. And to get the new assembly in, all you do is take your lights out of your old assembly, pop them into your new assembly, and reverse the process. And it's the same over here. On these models of Toyota, there's, um, or actually then these models of Corolla, a lot of these, through 2019, I think, of all of this stuff right here, all of this, uh, the window washer fluid is over here, all of these pipes are over here, um, all that stuff's over there, so it's a little bit tougher on the passenger side of the vehicle, but um, otherwise the process is the same, get the tire off, get that bolt off down over there, bend it out, um, on this side actually, the bottom housing that I showed you earlier snapped as you kind of saw. So I had to um, really reef on that to get the old clip out because it was rusted in. And uh, once I got that free, it ended up being pretty easy. But then, yeah, it's the same thing on this side. Reverse the process to get them in. Uh, make sure your battery's connected properly and then fire it up. Test all of your lights, um, both low and high, and test your emergency lights. That's a great way to test and see if both of your turn signals are working. Um, and then, yeah, that's a pretty easy install. And that's how we do her. So have fun. Bye!